Good afternoon. This noon time, we are working some breaking news. And we're also going to be letting you know about the sentence of Whitey Bulger from Boston in just a moment. We also want to let our viewers know before we get to that that the president is expected to be speaking live from the White House about some pretty big changes to the health care overhaul. We will be breaking into coverage once the president speaks. But first, our breaking news out of Boston, reputed mobster James Whitey Bulger has been sentenced to life in prison. To be precise, two consecutive life sentences plus five years is the sentence. That decision coming in in about, uh, coming in actually in just the past two hours from Judge Denise Casper. The government is now determining where he'll be serving his life sentence, though his lawyers are expected to appeal the decision already. Target 12 investigator Tim White is live outside the courthouse now with the breaking details. Tim? Danielle, Judge Denise Casper began the hearing by reading off a list of names of those Bulger was convicted of killing. She noted there were many others that were hurt by Bulger's reign of terror. Bulger was given, as you said, two life sentences plus five years, and he was ordered to pay $19.5 million in restitution to families. That money includes the more than $800,000 that was found in his California hideaway and any future money he might get, get through, say, book sales. Today felt very much like a formality, but it was a significant day in the saga of Whitey Bulger. As Judge Casper put it, Bulger is no longer the face of Boston. The 84-year-old stood stoically staring at the judge as she essentially sentenced him to die in prison after victims' family members talked about Bulger's lack of emotion. Get, get it to hell with him. You know what I mean? He's hurt so many people. He's done so many ratty things. You know, the next time I want to hear anything about him is hopefully he's dead, you know? That's the next time I ever want to hear anything about him. Though this day marks the end of an epic trial, expect Bulger to appeal, which means he may be right back here in Boston in front of the First Circuit Court of Appeals. And I also talked to some family members who told me that they are once again planning on going after the government. And that's because, as you probably remember, Bulger was used as an informant, and they say the FBI turned a blind eye to his criminal operations. We'll have more reaction from you after an emotional day in court starting live on Eyewitness News at 5 o'clock. For now, live in Boston with the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.